All right, guys, welcome to episode 161 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already, and go over to our Patreon and check that out too. All right, but we're back with another one. It's a beautiful day. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? I'm feeling really good, man. Kind of dehydrated. I've been fucking drinking for the past. Four 17 days. hours and a half straight. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real, I've been drinking since Friday, guys. Leave me alone. I'm not an alcoholic, but listen, we turn up a little bit from time to time. All right, if you don't like a ligma, ligma. All right, yeah, bro. But yeah, bro. I was just thinking right before the podcast. I'm like, damn, bro. Like episode 161, bro. That's wild. Like that's crazy. Yeah, to bro. us, bro. To you know us, you know, some people look at us like, man, fuck these guys. Like, that's not two hundred, yeah. Why are you excited? Like, bro, bitch, you go do a hundred episodes. Rogan got a thousand. Yeah, well, Rogan's been doing this for fourteen years. Yeah, <laughs> for you real. Know what man, shout out Rogan, man. Yeah, shout he out ain't a racist, Rogan, man. Bro. You're a fucking, you're racist. Round of applause to Rogan. Yeah. If you think Rogan's fucking racist, you're probably just racist. Yeah. You're racist as hell, motherfuckers. Yeah, man. Nah, what the bro. Fuck happened. What? I don't know shit like what I think we're good. Nah, my shit ain't working. I hear you perfectly fine. You sound great. I don't know. You don't hear yourself? I sound really good. I don't know. All right, there we go. Wow. Harry, edit that shit. <laughs> nah, bro. That shit was turned off over here. Man. <laughs> Keep that shit, Harry. We good, bro. Nah, fuck this out is, of It's here. natural, bro. But yeah, man. Getting right into the first fucking video. What happened, bro? Right into the first thing Oh uh, man Nah bro You know We're talking about how people just They don't like you bro You know what I mean They don't like you for you And it's like bro Like I don't know what else I could do to Prove to you that I'm a decent person right mm -hmm. Like you reach that point And you're like bro Like I've done everything in the book You know what I mean Well you know what Fuck you Yeah It does get to that point It's it, like bro Like Going back to the same shit It's like I've showed you respect time after time. You've disrespected me back time after time. And at what point do I just let you keep fucking disrespecting me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it gets to that it point. It gets to that point, bro, where it's like, bro, I don't even want to be around this person no more because it's like, damn, nigga, like, I never show you disrespect, but every every chance you get, you do it to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and ultimately, bro, like, hey, bro, some people just aren't meant to be around you. You know what I'm saying? Like, It's not even that. Like, not, not everyone's going to like you. I'm talking like, about just, like, just people you meet, man, for the first couple times, and they just don't like you. Like, people don't know. They don't really know you. Oh, fuck them. Yeah. You don't think about it's like, bro, twice. you don't even know me, man. It's like, you really don't know me. For real. And it's like, bro, like, I don't got to sit here and prove myself and be somebody that I'm no, not, bro. I, I'm going to be me. I'm like, at the age where I don't want you to get to know me. Get the fuck from around me. Yeah. Like, you, the people that know me, they know my heart. They know my heart. If you don't, fuck you. Uh, you don't need to get to know me, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's the thing that a lot of people don't understand. Like, everybody wants to be liked. Everybody wants to be, go to work and go to after work fucking lunches and brunches and this and that. It's like, bro, fuck them all. Yeah. They're not your friends. No, dead ass. Like, I explain this shit to so many of my friends. Like, nigga, those people at work are not your friends. As yeah. soon as they can take your position, they will. And they'll fucking slander your name so that they could get it. Yeah. Think they, think they won't when they're they talking will. about a $20,000 raise. Think they won't. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's like, bro, them niggas ain't your friends, bro. Fuck them all. Go to work. Get your money. You know what I'm saying? If somebody meets you two times and they don't like you, bitch, fuck you. You won't be around me the third. Mm -hmm. It's really that simple. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But even with people that know you. Yeah. Even with people I know you, it's like, bro, if they do it back to back, bro, it because it's different, bro. It says it sends a different message than if it's just like a one time thing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, just you gotta realize that shit. Everybody ain't gonna like you. Fuck them. Yeah. You know what I'm and if like, they're like I've been in positions where like people move around from you, and they don't want they don't even want to be around you, so they move away from you or like they don't even want to be like in your presence. Right? That speaks a lot. That speaks a lot, bro. I feel like that's power. You know what I mean? How, like you said before, it's like... Oh, yeah. If you could show up somewhere. Like, if you could show up somewhere, bro, and somebody yeah. moves around because you're there, bro, like, that's different. Like, that's... Like, I don't know, bro. You're letting somebody have power over you if you leave. If you're the person that leaves. If you're the person that shows up yeah. and they leave, it's like... Yeah, I just show up or it's, it's like, like, yeah, or like, even people are like, man, I don't want to be around this guy, man. Fuck, you know, don't hang around him. You know what I mean? It's like, bro, like, bro, like, I hate I, bitch like, ass niggas like that. It's like, bro, like, if you don't like him, you don't like him. Don't taint his, their image of 
them to somebody else. Yeah, because you know somebody saying? else's relationship can be different from yours. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you're, like you're not, you're as not. As long as it ain't no business. Like, if they stole money, that's you could be like, nah, that nigga steals money. Yeah, he's a, that's yeah, yeah, he's a fucking. But if it's like, oh, I don't like him because of this or the way they dress or this or that, don't hang around them. They're an asshole. It's like, well, that's your perception of them and that's your opinion of them. But this person might get along with them famously. You know what I'm saying? Like they may they may get along with them wonderfully, bro, and they may become best friends or some shit. Yeah, yeah. and then you want to say, "Well, I'm not gonna fuck with you if you fuck with him." Petty yeah. ass. Yeah, that's some petty we ass. We're talking about that, bro. Let's get into it, man. Pettiness is a woman trait. I'm sorry, but it is. If you're a grown man walking around being petty, bro, you were raised by a single mom. Yeah, for sure. And you took on her trait of being petty. That you is know what true. Because it's like there's no other explanation to me. Like, why are you so, f- like, who cares, bro? Like, if somebody does you wrong, if if they didn't harm you physically or something, it's like, there's no point in being petty, bro. Because that person, ultimately, nigga, they're being petty because they're fucking miserable. Like, a lot of the time, bro, it's like, that pettiness shit says a lot more about a person, too. It's just like, oh, like, that little thing will set you off like that? Like, that little thing will fucking make you do that to that person? Like, damn, nigga. I wonder what a real fucking disrespect and... You know, dude. You, you know you what, what the mean? problem like, is though with like certain people and people's relationships. I feel like a lot of people pick a fucking whore as a wife. That's a fact, right? That's a fact. And then they want like everybody else to act normal around their whore wife. It's like, bro, if your wife is acting <laughs> like a whore, I'm not gonna sit here and not treat her like a whore. Yeah, no, you get treated like what you like, what if, you are, and like what if you, you put out. Your wife is flirting you know with me, like, and I don't really know you. I'm, I'm going to sit here and continue to flirt with your fucking wife. Yeah, you don't owe like, no loyalty to a nigga that don't know you. It's like, bro, like... Like, that's that's honestly how I feel about it. I mean, what I... Like, I wouldn't do it. I've done it. Yeah. But I wouldn't do it now at this point in my life just because I don't want that karma on myself. You yeah, know exactly. It's yeah. still bad, like, energy. But yeah. regardless, bro, it's like, if you're a single man... And you're out there chilling, bro. And somebody's wife is flirting with you, you owe, and you don't know that nigga. You don't owe that nigga no fucking loyalty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the only time that comes into play is when they're your boy, or your family member. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that is and, different. And, and that's and that's you know not even the point where I'm trying to get at though. I'm kind of getting off track. The point is to that is like if you know you're getting what you're getting yourself into. They don't sit here and try to blame and point fingers at everybody else. You know what you married. You know you put a ring on on that on that girl. That's and you fact. knew the problems That's that were fact. coming with that girl when you met yep. her. Yep. And you want to sit here and try to fucking blame and point other people, oh, he's a shitty person, he's a shitty person. Well, maybe that fucking person ain't for you from the jump. Yeah, no. Again, bro, if, yeah. you, don't, if you don't know the person... You're not a shitty person. If yeah. you know the person, you're a shitty person. Exactly. And it, that's really yeah. what it comes down to. Like, You know what I'm saying? If you know that person and you're just like doing it just because you know you can, then that's different than if it's just like, oh, well, I don't know this nigga, but his wife is hitting on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's different, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, is like, if you know what you're getting yourself into from the jump of getting married with this woman, you can't sit here and blame other people for your wife's mistakes or how the way she acts or, you know what I mean? And be like, oh, like, this is... No, nah, you always got to take it up with your wife. Yeah. You know I mean, you knew what you're getting yourself into. You always got to take it up with your wife, bro. But again, like, uh. it just it all depends, bro. Like, if you're if it's your boy... That's fucked up on both sides. If yes. it's not, then you nigga, you just gotta take it up with your wife. You gotta be like, yo, like what's like it's not his fault because if I was single and I I'd hit too. I'm just talking you know about saying? people that you don't even know. People get insecure off just off rip. Just like, you know, you go out somewhere with your wife yeah, and, bro, and, we and, about and it's like I don't, I don't I don't I don't like this guy, man. Why? Because he's flirting with that hey, bro, he don't even know you. Everybody ain't meant to be around each other, bro. Everybody yeah. don't have to like each other. Yeah. Just, sometimes there's no reason for it. Yeah. Somebody just don't fucking so, like I just you. don't like you. I don't I don't like your fucking who gives face. A fuck? yeah. But who cares? Nigga, you're liking me, don't pay my bills. Exactly. Emotions don't pay bills. That's yep. something that I'd be telling people is like, bro, you're emo- me you liking me doesn't give I don't give two fucks about. Yeah. Honestly, I'd rather be respected than liked. Are you the like, type of person that's like if I tell you, hey man, don't fuck with that guy, man. You know, and I'm your friend for years, but you have no valid reason to be really like, you don't know this guy. Like, how would you go about that? Like, do you think that's like, are you going to take your boy side and be like, nah, man, I ain't going to fuck with him because my boy don't fuck with you? No, nah, I'm going to tell my boy is like, bro, like at the end of the day, bro, like whatever you had, whatever dealings you have with him is the dealings that you have with him. 
You yeah. know what I'm saying? But that doesn't mean, number one, how long ago was that? Like, there's a lot of variables. Yeah, it's shit. a lot of questions. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. how long ago was it? Oh, how petty was it? Was it a real situation or a situation that y'all just mad about? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's like, I hate, like, and we've gone through a situation like this before ourselves. It's like, don't make me choose sides because I'm not going to. Yeah. Dead ass. If I have two friends and y'all get into an argument, bro, and y'all don't like each other no more, that has nothing to do with me. I fuck with both of y'all, bro. Yeah. And I'm going to let both of y'all know. I don't care how it makes either one of y'all feel. Yeah. I still fuck with it. Exactly. Period. That's how you I know think, what I'm saying? too. It's just like, you can't let other people's situations fuck up your shit. If that's how it went, bro, like, you know how many people wouldn't have made, you know, a bag for their family to prosper doing that type of shit? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, like... And on top of that, that's an immature way to think. Yeah, it's like... Beefing is immature, bro. Beefing is a kid thing, to me. It is. Like, as a grown man, beef, nigga? What the fuck? Like... Yeah, like, you know, unless you, like... Unless you do some some real crazy shit. Even even at that, like, you kill somebody. There's still people that forgive that person. Yeah, that's different. You you ever seen that? Mm -hmm. That takes a lot of power. I feel like that's more... That's... That takes a lot of strength. You You know know what I'm saying? That like, takes more strength than being like, yo, I'm gonna go kill this nigga. Yeah, it's like it's like that's me. the initial reaction. Exactly. You know? It's like it's like me fucking I'm dating your daughter or some shit, right? It's never gonna happen, but I'm just putting in in a mm-hmm. in a story mode. Like I'm dating your daughter and you continuously tell me, yo, bro, can you stop seeing my daughter or can you stop drinking and driving? And I continuously to keep doing it over and over and I kill your fucking daughter. And you forgive me. Yeah, nah. I'm gonna fucking kill you. There's some people that will kill you, well, and there's there's a lot of where, di- that's, that's where people are different. Everybody's and you different. see what I'm saying? Like it's crazy how people are different. I mean, he he forgave them. There's stories of that of like people forgiving other people for killing their son or some shit like that or murdering them. That takes a lot of fucking power because they say that when you forgive, like it's better for yourself. You know? Nah, I agree. I completely when you agree, forgive, bro. when you forgive, it's better for yourself. Yeah, but I've, I at the same time I feel like there's some people as I like, fuck you for life. Yeah, because call and, me what and, you want to call that's, me, bro. and that's it's me. Like, I don't give a fuck. Fuck that's you me. for life. I don't give a fuck. Like yep. I don't even ever want to see you. Yeah, I swear. That's that's like, how I am. That's what I'm okay. saying. I'm not like that guy. But that, it takes a lot. Know? I had a situation where it's like I'm not gonna put nobody's name out there for you know what I'm saying legal purposes. But there was a guy that I grew up with, and if you know, you know. This man got caught like trying to molest a 12 year old little girl. Never fucking talk to him again in my life. I wouldn't give a fuck. If I saw him, I'd break his face. And we grew up together, bro. Like, grew up together, bro. There's nothing. There's certain things that, to me, like, in that situation, is fuck you for life. There's nothing that you could ever fucking tell me. Yeah. That was a 12-year-old little girl, bro. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Like... Come on, you see what I'm saying? So it's like yeah. certain situations call for that. It's like, nah, nigga, fuck you for life. Cause that's not to me, that's a that's something that's like a disease, but you can't get rid of that. Yeah, like, it's not like something that you could do and then like, oh no, no, nah, like I'm nigga, not like, you that like that little anymore. kids. You like little kids. Yeah, You've yeah, liked that's... little kids and you're forever like little kids. It's a sexual preference. It's like niggas that be like, I don't like dark skinned girls, or you're I gay. like light skinned girls. Or you're gay. Or, or being gay. Whatever yeah. your sexual preference is, that's your sexual preference and you're a fucking sick bastard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like there's yeah. no to me, there's, there's no there's certain things that you just can't come back from nah nigga yeah like you know like one thing is like also like stealing yeah stealing stealing, it, stealing is like one of those things where it's like bro like I've I, there's friends that I've known for fucking 15 years 15 years bro and people fucking steal and it, it surprises me it really does it surprises the fuck it out of me it just speaks and it's like character bro that means that like to me bro it just says you're you're an opportunist you were never really my friend. You're an opportunist. You're waiting on an opportunity to take advantage of me. And this is the opportunity you saw most fit to do. Yeah. So you thought you're taking advantage of me, but in reality, bro, you're fucking yourself out of a really good fucking person in your life. Yeah. And that's what people, it's, it's that shooting the goose for the golden egg. You know what I'm saying? And that's going down to relationships right. too. Yeah. You know, like that's how everything. I said, like if you know somebody and you meet somebody and they don't have any friends longer than 10, ten years mm-hmm. a best friend a fucking even your brother somebody that that yeah, you know bro. for over 10 years that's super close to you even relationships that I, I don't know that's that's a red flag to me if you never yeah. been, if you don't have any of that that's a huge Not red even one. flag if that's a huge red flag if you're yeah you're always constantly changing friends and your best friends in in two weeks and then in two months y'all ain't even friends no more and you're go- constantly doing that like 
That's a red flag. That's something that's wrong with you that you're doing. And that's and that's something too that I heard from like overhearing in women conversations that you know, I was at a party one time and I remember I was with Kane. It was at my party actually. And I was with with my buddy and I was like, "Man, I haven't t- took a shotgun in over 10 years with you, bro." Mhm. You know what I mean? And the girls were like, "Man, like, damn, 10 years?" Like they were yeah, surprised cuz su- it's surprising because I don't know especially why y'all women are so quick to be like, oh, she's so pretty, she's so that, don't call her fat. And then as soon as y'all get mad at each other, it's fuck her, the bitch has yellow teeth, she fuck, yeah, like all this, and all it's that just extra like, shit. bro, like y'all like, we don't never do really that. friends. Yeah. And that's why to me, bro, it's Men hard. relationships yeah, are, are stronger. It's different, like. Yeah. They said that too. They said that they're like, different. wow, like, you know, men relationships, they take that shit seriously. Like, they, yeah, friendships, you know, like men friendships yeah, are a little bit different than women's. Like, in my opinion, you know, like, I feel like women have more of like that fake relationship. Like, there is no true. It's superficial, bro. Yeah, a lot yeah, of men do like, too. Uh, some men do it for for position in, in the workplace and they're fake and kiss ass and do this and do that yeah. and do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, there's just different, different yeah. levels of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it's on both sides, but for the most part, it's definitely women that do that where it's like, y'all ain't really friends. Like you're sitting here talking about y'all best friends, bro, but y'all literally talking shit about each other, like behind each other's backs at the same party. Yeah, and it's just and like geez, going out like, for fucking brunch and mimosas. Be around that. And the thing is, yeah. not all women are like that. I want to be around the women that aren't like that. Don't yeah. be petty. Don't be doing that. If they're not your friend, you don't fuck with them. Yeah, and that's that. Like some people are like, damn, bro, why don't you do this with that person? Or uh, what happened with the, like, bro? We're just not friends no more, and it's cool. And that's you know that's, what I'm saying. Like, just do that before you're sitting here just like faking that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's a, that's the thing about it is that like. My toxic trait was like, oh, like I've been best friends with him since fucking high school, so that makes me still best friends with him now. Yeah. That's not true. Nah, bro. The best thing I ever heard Steve Harvey say was loyalty has an expiration date. And that's a fact. Some people be like holding on to this loyalty, this perception of loyalty, but that loyalty isn't returned. So when it's not returned, then it's like, well, it is what it is. At what point do you keep being loyal? Like dead ass. At what point do you keep being loyal? Yeah. You know, like, nah, bro, you got to be loyal to yourself first. And, period. And again, like, if fucking someone's supporting you or, or claiming loyalty, but they're benefiting benefiting something off of you mm-hmm. at the same time, then that's not fucking loyalty. Yeah, that's, that's, not, not, that's, that's not true friendship. True friendship is, yeah. bro, when it's good and, good and bad. Like, you have nothing to offer me, nigga, and I'm still your friend. Exactly. You can't give you me can't nothing. You can't help me fucking do a goddamn thing. <laughs> but I'm still your friend. Yeah. Like we could we could still smoke. You can still come through. We can still kick it. We can still hang out. You know what yeah. I'm saying, like, honestly, and that's the thing. Too many people are looking for what can I get from this person instead of how can I fucking help this person. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I don't know, bro. There's a lot of selfishness in the world, man. Like, it's. I feel like it's a disease, bro. Like, when you when you only think about yourself, bro. That's dangerous, man. Yeah. I was telling my boy that the other day. I was like, you can't live your life like that. Always thinking about yourself and shit. It's always good to put you put you in a better position for you because no one else is going to come save you. Of course. But I feel like, you know, when you give out, it comes back, man. It always does. And it, you don't even want that, that, that shit to come back most of the time, you know? But mm-hmm. when it does, it's, it's always in the time that you need it, you know? Yeah. And, People and, learn at their own time, bro. Everybody's on a different clock. Everybody's different, learning at different paces. Something that you learned at 15, somebody else learned at 25. Yeah. That's just how that shit go. You yep. know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, nigga, like, you just, everybody's on, on a different time. Everybody thinks different. And that's, I've said it a hundred times on here. That's what makes humanity beautiful, bro. That humans are different, bro. We're not all a copy of each other. Everybody's different. Like how I was saying, you know, everyone has their own position in life. Like there's some of your friends that like to make money yep. and they're really good at making money because it's still a sport at the end of the day. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Some people ain't good at it. Yeah. Some people can't fucking some save pe- more than $500 to save their life. Some, you know, maybe your fucking buddy's good at shooting threes and shit. Mm-hmm. That's why you keep him at a point guard. You feel me? Maybe you got a guy that's down in the center that's really good at defense. And, you know, like it's everybody has their own good and they're bad at, you know, some people are really good with their hands. They're able to fucking create shit with their hands and they're handyman. You know, there's some people that can't do it. So I feel like if your boy is not getting money, but he's just doing the best that he can. I feel like that's that's like what like that's like the most important part. Like, I feel like it's like you got to. 
understand everybody's different, man. Yeah. Everybody's different. Everybody thinks different. Everybody wants different things out of life. You know what I'm saying? And what we're good at doing as humans, bro, is pointing out other people's flaws and be like, oh, well, you could do that. You could do this. You could do that. Instead of being like, yo, you're good at this. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, bro. I feel like as we grow up, when you're a kid, bro, you're you're so full of life and you're so full of dreams and anything is possible. And then as you grow up, bro, life and people and expectancies and all this other shit just starts beating you down. Like, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do that. You're not supposed to do that. Why are you doing that? You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, it just builds, it builds certain, like, it builds certain doubt in people. You know what I'm saying? And some people can't break through that shit. But- you got to, you just, ultimately, you got to believe in, like, I've always been the type of person where it's like, I don't know how it's going to happen, but God got me. Period. Yeah, you go with Period. your gut. Yeah. God got me, bro. I've been in situations, you know what I'm saying, that it's like, damn, nigga, like, I really made it out of that, and I prospered out of that, and I learned out of that, and I thought I wouldn't. I thought I wouldn't make it out. You know what I'm saying? But you do. So it's like, you just got to live, you got to learn, bro, and like, Back to the main point, bro. Everybody has their own position, and you got to understand, bro. Like, everybody ain't a fighter. Everybody ain't a shooter. Yeah, everybody like, ain't a money getter. That's good. You that's a good. Saying? Yeah, like, that's just how it goes. Like, bro. if you People out and about, and you get jumped, and your boy fucking gets speed up, but or maybe he doesn't want to fight. And he's just not a fighter, and he's, he's fucking not a fighter, scared. Bro. Yeah, that, like, bro, that like affects. then you can't be mad at homie, bro, because they caught you lacking. You brought a guy that wasn't fucking a fighter. Yeah, and he there was a possibility that you would have got caught lacking. That's you put yourself fact. in that position. You can't fucking sit here and blame it on him. That's not his position. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> not. You got ultimately, bro. You just gotta take accountability, man. And yeah. too many people have a hard time doing that. Being like, yo, you know what? You're right. My bad. I'm wrong. Like I, there's some friends, bro, that I've never heard him say that, and it's just like that's bad, bro. Yeah, everybody's. So it's always everybody's fault. It's always everybody else's. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro. Like, at some point, you got to take accountability and be like, damn, nigga, I fucked up, too. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and to me, bro, if you're not willing to do that, then you're just mentally, you're still a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, grown ups, period. Grown ups are able to look at a situation and be like, you know what? I did fuck up there, bro. My bad, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not perfect, but I'll try not to let that shit happen again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For real. And that's all it takes. That's really all it takes, bro. But some, I'm telling you, like, some people are too prideful to even say that. Like, they don't want to say it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it, like, at some point, it's like, you just, it's accountability, bro. That's all it comes down to. Yeah, pride is a devil. Yeah, pride facts. is a devil. Facts, bro. Yo, man. Like, nobody wants to be told you're wrong. Nobody wants to hear certain things. But it's like, nigga, it's, that's what you need. We've said it, I've said it before. Like, what you need isn't always what you want. Sometimes you need to hear, like, nah, bro, like, you're wrong. You know what I'm saying, and and nah, and really sit there and be like, damn, nah, I am wrong. Yeah, you know I mean? like instead of like, oh well, you were wrong this one time. Well, that's we're not talking about we're this one talking time. About we're talking one about time. what you just did right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yep. Like that's that's something that like I had to deal with. You know what I'm saying, growing up in my own family, like that toxic behavior where it's like, bro, as soon as, like two wrongs don't make a right. So don't bring up a wrong that somebody else. Did because yeah. you're wrong. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It's like, it, so try what? To, try to make it equivalent. Yeah, it's like, like oh, nah. well, like, nah, bro. Like, you're wrong. It's cool. That per, that, that person was wrong then. You're wrong now. You know, you know <laughs> you what know the what fuck mean? is wrong right now? <laughs> the fucking gas prices. You know what I mean? I'm that guy, bro. I be complaining, but I'm still going to pay. Listen, you know what I mean? And, and that's I'm one that thing, guy and, yeah. that's about to turn in my fucking car for a Tesla. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's me, bitch. You're yeah. telling me, oh, you're going to pay $70 to fill up your tank? Have fun, nigga. Yeah. I'll pay 8 yeah, bro. If it gets no to cap. that, like, I feel like it's going to reach that point where it's like, bro, like, people can't afford fucking gas anymore. What if we reach that point where it's like, man, like, only the rich fucking drive fucking gas and shit like that? Yeah. Well, well it ain't going to be like that because y'all going to be broke bro, paying all that too, shit. Bro, listen, I was doing the math. I'm like, bro, you got me fucked up. You're telling me that shit going to jump to $5. Seven to $14. <laughs> seven to $14. I could fill up my Tesla for 300 miles. That's what I get with my fucking other car, bro. And I have to spend fucking fifty dollars filling it up. I don't know. I'm thinking about getting that Tesla. I mean, I'm not. I'm not even playing. We're bro. talking like, about electric trucks too. You talking about was, Ford and yeah, shit? Yeah, I was like, thinking about get, bro. If I could get a Lightning and a fucking Tesla, 
That'd be it. I'll have my What's truck, electric truck. What's the That's lightning? the electric truck, the Ford truck. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was. Yeah, that's just lightning. coming out 2022. Ford Lightning, it's called, bro. So this year? Yeah. Damn, it's already 2022. It's Do you believe released? that? You know how when you write down like the date? Do you yeah, forget? I'd be, you forget? I'd be like, oh, man, yeah. what year? Bro, we were only good at that when we were in school. That's because you had to write it every, every fucking day. day. And now that we do it, even like, then I'd fuck up. The first month of the next year, I'd be like, fuck. I wrote that shit wrong. <laughs> yeah, bro. There's sometimes right, even right now. And I'm just like, man, I'm fucking, damn. How do we even write this? It's weird writing when you're Yo. when you're used to writing 2004 and shit. And then when you're at 2022, what the fuck? Listen, like, that's man, not weird. I used to think as a kid that parents were just dumb as fuck, bro. I'd be like, how do y'all not know this? Now that I've been out of school for 10 years, bro. You got me fucked up trying to understand some trigonometry homework or some shit, nigga. I don't. I didn't barely get that shit done. It's changed ten times since then. I'm not getting it now, bro. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get. I understand parents now, where it's like, yeah, bitch, try to figure out your own homework because I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, there were sometimes I would do homework <laughs> with my parents, and then they get confused themselves. They're like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, and then they get mad. They yeah. take the homework. Give me this shit because yeah. if I can't figure it out, I know you, you can. can't. Yeah, hey, bro, my my fucking dad used to make me. Bro, my dad was vicious when it came to fucking school, bro. Yeah, I used to. I got my ass whooped a few times trying to my dad multiply made me, some shit. My dad made me write my name like a billion fucking times in cursive. Holy shit! Because I fucked up. Like it was like every day after school, I did would. Did you write. ever fuck up again? No, nah, well, I never that's did. Your best fucking bad. Nah, yeah, you learned, did. didn't you? Yeah, I fucking learned. That's what's up? Yeah, he good would, for your dad. He'd be like, there was a video of an Asian guy trying to teach his kid on like a math question. He's like, what's one plus one? Holy one plus shit. one. Nah, if, if I have to scream for that, <laughs> bro, it's like, over. He's like four, and he's like, motherfucker, mother. Like my, that's like. <laughs> nah, I got my yo. <laughs> listen, it was one time. Rest in peace, Theo Edwin, bro. That nigga fucking slapped me so hard across my goddamn head, bro. <laughs> I was sitting there for like a whole hour trying to multiply some shit. And I was like, what's this times this? And I'd get it right. And then he'd like do it backwards. I'd be like, I couldn't get it. Like it was the same shit. It was supposed to be the same number, right? Like he'd be like, what's six times nine? And then he'd be like, what's nine times six? He'd be like, throw that thing around. Why it be you fucking up? But the thing is, bro, the pressure they put on you, you be forgetting. You think you won't. And then when a nigga's standing over you, like, what'd you say? Yeah. Say it again. And you're like, fuck, now you got your answer nah, and shit. They beat they move my brain a little bit. Nah, bro, that shit'll jolt your calculator in that bitch real quick. Nah, you know what I'm bro. Fuck your whole shit up. I'm gonna tell you tell something you real what. quick, bro. But listen, man. Yeah. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we drop, all right? Go over to our Patreon and uh give us a listen over there too. And listen, don't forget to tell somebody you love them. Peace and love.